my three biggest tips for people that are just about to land their first client. Um, so let's, okay, so you've got your first client or you almost got your first client, you know, you're, you're about to close that client and then three tips for that situation. I uh, just want to put it out there that these tips uh, are like based on my mistakes or my experiences. You know, there's so many tips out there, there's so many things you can do in this situation, but I'm just going to give you guys like my three biggest tips for in that situation based on my experiences. Uh, so the first mistake I made when I wanted to land my first client was that I didn't get the payments up front. Like it was, you see everyone on social media getting the payments up front and getting all these retainers and stuff like that. And you, you know that that's the way it should be, but in reality, like it is hard to get that, especially when it's your first clients, you haven't really got the confidence. It's hard to get the payments up front, but I just need to put out there guys, that is the, it's normal to get the payments up front in like for services like this. You know, um, like let's say you're gonna invest in software, you know, you're gonna get some kind of like a management program if you're doing like graphics and all that for this client. Um, and let's say you're going to get someone on board to help you with it, whether that's an outsource or a teammate, it doesn't matter. You know, if you don't get that payment up front, then you're immediately out of pocket because you know you're investing your own money. Uh, you know, without the client even giving you money. And what's to say, two weeks down the line, the client's not really happy with what you've done, and he leaves you. Then you're, you know, you, you're at a loss because you've already paid for the software. You know, it might, that might be a, a, a pay up front yearly subscription thing. You know what I mean? And you've you've paid your outsourcers or your teammates, and the clients left. You know what you do in that situation. So to prevent that, get the client to pay up front. It's normal. It's just the way it is. Just get over that fear, and just you know. Nine times out of ten, the client won't even question it. You know, you just say, okay, like, um, because we've got software costs or because we've got um, costs for teammates, blah, 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 you know, we do require the payments up front. Is that okay? 99.9% .9 of the time, the client will say it's okay unless the client is dodgy to begin with. If you get the feeling that the client doesn't want to pay you at all, then just say no. Leave the client. You know, there's no point in doing it. There's always other clients out there. All right, so my second tip, uh, again, you know, based on my experiences and mistakes in the past, is like expectation management. So manage their expectations from minute one. So if it's if it's like a startup, if it's a client just getting started out, then make sure that client knows that it will not get sales on day one. You know, you can run. Um, you can run like conversion ads from the start, but either it's going to pay a lot of money for it, or it's just not going to convert because you know there's, he hasn't got the following, he hasn't got the awareness just yet. So explain to the client that that the first month, at the very least, you know, depending on how big the budget is, if he's got a massive budget, then it might be quicker. But explain that the first month will be dedicated to awareness and you know just getting the, the word out there that this company or client or service exists first of all that gives you a little bit of leeway you know a little bit of time to uh, to get used to this client to you know to manage the client properly build up a social media profile you know it gives you a little bit of time to get that first conversion or first sell in for the client and it just um, it just manages the client's expectations so the client knows okay you know i will not see a, a return on investment directly in the first month but in month two or month three you know he's going to get me sales and my last big tip for you know this whole situation is to get all the details as quickly as possible like um one like not my very first client but like you know when i was just getting started um i had a client that i got through um I was talking to him on Skype, you know, it was a client from uh, America and basically, um, you know, the client said, okay, you know, we had like a sort of verbal agreement, okay, the client was, was going to sign for Brand Panier. Uh, we got all like, the, the money out of the way, you know, I, I learned from that mistake, you know, we got all the money out of the way first, that was all done and dusted and I was ready to go. And uh, I ended the call because I was all excited and then realised, well, I've got no, no no details on this client whatsoever. I haven't got his passwords for, for Instagram and Facebook. I haven't got access to his ad account. I haven't got access to his Facebook page yet. So I had to email the clients like after the, the call and uh, ask them, oh, can, can you give me access to your Facebook page? Got that and then I realized that the, the Facebook page wasn't uh, connected to the ad account. So I had to request access to the ad account as well. And it just seemed so unprofessional. Even you know, I, I, I can't 
I just I can't I can't imagine what the client must have thought, you know, at this moment. You know, I've I've had all this big professional uh, closing stage just done, and then after that you need to ask for all these details. So make sure you know from the start what details you need from the client. I've just got it on uh, on my like notes on my computer and also on my phone. You know, I need this, 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 and this. You know, in fact now I've even typed it out. All I need to do is whether it's you know if it's through email I can just copy and paste it, and when it's through Skype I can just um, you know. I can just read what it says so um, you know off the top of my head it's if you're going to do management it's instagram password you know login username stuff like that uh, facebook he needs to grant you access and make sure it's admin and not like a page uh, not like advertise anything like that you know you want full access so you've got control of it everything and you don't need to keep asking them for access on different parts of his facebook so as for admin rights on his page and his ad account and uh, what else am I missing? If I miss any, I'll put it here somewhere. But like I said, it's all on my notes. I know exactly what I need from the client uh, going forward. And it's just so much more professional if you can tell the client right away, like, uh, preferably on the call or whether you're meeting with them, like, I need this from you. Uh, send it to me as soon as possible so we can get that, all that out of the way and we can get started. Alright guys, so those are my tips for today. Uh, like the video if you got something out of it and let me know like if you want to see more of these type of videos. I was thinking myself of doing videos more often, shorter videos with you know just tips and tricks on uh, social media management, social media marketing, maybe even uh, you know broaden it a little bit just about earning money online. Let me know in the comments down below if that's something you might be interested in, you know, or if you want me to just do vlogs, longer videos, you know, just let me know because basically I'm just using your guys feedback uh, to what I'm doing with the channel you know other than that I'm just documenting my journey going about my day anyway guys thanks for watching subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of these videos or just more of me in general and I'll see you guys in the next one gotta do what I gotta do